Yo, what's the word, bro? This truth teller from We Are the Truth Tellers. How you doing, broski? Man, I appreciate you letting me chop it up with you, bro. In case the people don't know, let them know what your name and where you're from, bro. Yeah, I'm a Jig Sight Fame. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Southside. Uh. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I've been hearing a lot about Texas, bro. It seems like a lot of rappers from out there have been getting an opportunity. Seems like a lot of the blog sites and internet companies is paying attention to what's going on out there. I want to know, though, from a person who out there, is it as easy to get on as it seems? Nah, not, not, not really, fam. Like, uh, like, a lot of the cats that had got on, they was on there I ain't gonna lie, I noticed that it seemed like uh, Texas kind of like updated. I recall the candy paint, the chopping screw music. It seemed like uh, the upcoming rappers kind of got a new sound. How do people feel about the new sound out there? I mean, well, I'm gonna put it like this: like, like, like the Houston part of music, you know, is is really the the uh, the uh, foreground of Texas rap, you know, because all of the legends and all of people down there, you know, Kiki, Big Hog, right, you know, uh, all those people. But Dallas, really, man, like we really, like we just we like the artists that blew up already, man, like. You just heard them like in the club, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just like the club hit. Right. So it's something different. So we really, honestly, like the streets, like it, it bump in the club, but the streets, they feel totally different about it, man. Right. Totally different. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I be seeing a lot of game banking shit going on nowadays out there. I kind of always felt like, you know, uh, Texas was like one of those areas where it was strictly getting money and cooling, but I see a lot of gang activity going on out there. Oh, uh, yeah, man. I'm, man I'm, hey, man, where, where, where is it not going on at? <laughs> right. How is it out there, bro? Is it safe out there and, and, and for, like, rappers who doing this music shit? Because in the market that I'm in in Chicago, once you get a buzz, it start getting dangerous for guys. You got to move around different. Is it like that out there? No, no, no. It's not like that. It's not like that out here. Really, man, like, even though, like, a lot of people, like, they, they might be on banging or whatnot, but at the end of the day, they all, they all about getting the money, man, because... Texas is such a big market, man. It's 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 big. Right. Like it's it's supposed to do her, and it's so much money to get in different places. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. What you bringing to this rap shit, though? I see a lot of upcoming artists coming from out of there. What you bringing different in this shit, bro? Right. Me, man. Like me, you know. Um, I, I ain't gonna lie. I make club songs. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You gotta make club calls to get the club jumping. Fact. But I feel that I'm a whole meal. I'm not just an artist that's just gonna be, you know, in the club, you know, a one hit wonder. Or you say, oh, he make club music. I'm, I'm a well round artist. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not here to just, you know, just to play with it. Boom, have a, have, have a hit in the club, and that's it. I'm not just a club rapper. Right. I can rap any type of style. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, from the East, West, Mid, Texas rap, Florida style, whatever. Any type of beat, I, I just adapt to it. And, you know, I go into a different format style of whatever coast, you know, whatever side. You know, like if it's an East Coast beat, I can, I can, I can spit just straight bars on it. Right. Down South beat. I can just get on it with, you know what I'm saying, just tight hooks and, you know what I'm saying, a couple of little word plays and like some things else for it. So, I mean, I'm real, I'm real, I'm real big up on the, on the, uh, on like the lyrics, you know what I'm saying, like the people that really spit bars and stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. Bro, with the with, with 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 you investing a lot into your career, cause I see you doing a lot of music shit. Your beats and shit be sounding official. It sound like you're really doing this shit for real. Do this shit get quite expensive, bro? You break that shit down for artists who don't know, cause a lot of rappers DM me. They tell me about the music business, but I don't think they understand how much this shit really costs. Yeah, man, it it it, 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 it costs a lot, man. Like, 
it costs, man, like, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta pay for the beat. You can either lease it or, or get the exclusive. Right. Then you got, then you gotta get, uh, what's that, the, uh, BDS sound scan. You gotta get registered with Aztec. You gotta do a lot of stuff. It's just not, you know, you just rapping in your mama's basement or whatever like that. <laughs> A lot of artists don't know. I be trying to tell them sometimes, you know, uh, if you don't have a record label and you're not signing nobody, you got to be that label and invest in your own self. Right, right, right. I don't we, think... We're really kind of better in the, in the long run, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you get, like, some people around you that can, like, you know what I'm saying, like, they can help you out with something. Right. It's, it's impossible to do it by yourself. Right. Like you gotta have somebody backing. You gotta, you gotta have a team or somebody. Facts. Facts. That's real shit, bro. I want to know something else too. Um, how do you feel about these rap deals and shit? Since we talking about this music shit, how do you feel about that? Because everybody I talk to, they say fuck that deal shit, bro. They not signing no.